Good morning, you guys. Welcome back. Matt here with Zero Carb Journal, episode 84. And how are you guys? Oh, good morning. <laughs> I hope you're doing great. I'm doing awesome. I had a great week. It's uh, having a great morning. It's 7.15 here, a little later than I usually get started. And it's a glorious morning. And stoked to be here. <laughs> you can hear my puppy wailing, wading away down there in the pond. He's hunting frogs. We're having a great day. All right, so how did you guys do this week? Did you have a good week? Make some progress? I bet you did great. I, I did. I had a really good week this week. Um, let's see. How do I tell you about it? <laughs> so, yeah. So, good morning. <laughs> um, yeah, this week was awesome, you guys. I, um, I, I pushed really hard this week, actually, despite um, heading towards what I keep thinking is going to be relaxing. <laughs> um, but last week, I finished up with you guys, finished up my journal on Sunday, and then I got a call from my slaughter guy, and I had been trying to schedule with him, and he called me last Sunday, and we scheduled for this last Tuesday. But I had like three cords of wood stacked in front of the barn um, that I had been planning on just kind of picking away at. So that meant I had to get to work right away. So that was Sunday. So I didn't actually end up taking a break last week. I just ended up stacking and splitting wood um, pretty much all day Sunday and then all day Monday Hope try and, and building a new fence and, and taking care of the animals, moving them around, getting ready for Tuesday. So I actually was was going really hard all through the weekend, didn't rest, um, knew that was, you know, outside of my normal routine and knew I would probably pay for it. And sure enough, I did. I just really wore myself out this week. But um, but boy, do, have, do I feel great. I feel like I've got a lot done and a lot of stuff behind me. And really <laughs> heading into cruising, I think, here, I keep saying it, it looks like it's probably never going to happen in reality. But I am getting a little more stuff cleared off my plate. So yeah, so this week was awesome in, in terms of some big check marks on my uh, to-do list and, and heading into fall and winter um, prepared. So yeah, so I got all my firewood up for the most part. I have one little um, session at the splitter, probably another few hours, but um, that represents a lot of work that I usually put in in the spring and, and summer, and, and I did. I just stayed focused on it. I've got um, probably five cords up, which hopefully is a lot more than I'll need. Uh, hopefully I've got some for next year as well. So that's that was a big, huge thing. And then, yeah, you guys, I slaughtered uh, some animals and put some, some meat in the freezer on Tuesday. So And that is always uh, the best and worst day on the farm. Um, it's really difficult. I really don't care for, you know, I, I really care for my animals. So, of course, it's really difficult to to, uh, you know, um, I just, I really, it's really, it affects me seeing them all torn up like that. I go to bed that night thinking about it. But, um, but it's a great feeling to have that chore done. And so, yeah, so I slaughtered two cows and two sheep. So I'm going to have quite a bit of meat, probably enough for most of the year, I would say. Um, and that leaves me with just one cow and her calf, which is really feels real. That's in terms of me feeling like uh, my tasks are getting done and I'm getting things more organized. That feels great because I've been having problems with all of the flock herd, the flirt getting over the fences. And it's been, I contribute it to one of the cows that um, that is now gone that was really the ringleader. She just would always go over the fence. She learned it from that jumping bull I had. So at any rate, I'm looking forward to a lot easier animal husbandry um, in the future going forward from here on out. I think that from here on out I should have, um, well, I won't say no more issues, but a lot less struggle with keeping the animals in the fences. And there's just a lot less animals, so I've got plenty of grass. And um, yeah, so just a lot less for me to deal with. So that just feels awesome, not to mention I have my food figured out for the whole year. And yeah, so I'm feeling great. Those are big summer, fall chores that 
always kind of hang over my head until I get them done. So to have the animals in the freezer and the firewood up, um, I'm feeling great about that. So work has been keeping me busy, actually. I've, I've been doing boat designs all week, and I've got another couple to do this week and a little job at the big shop, and then I've actually got one more whole boat to do the week after this that I committed to. Um, my friend called me on Thursday, a very little boat, like a three-day job. Um, but it's hard to turn down those jobs. I can't turn them down when those guys need me uh, because it's I've got such a good gig going here where I where I do get the opportunity to go away for a little while until they need me back, and uh, and I'm always there for them when they need me, and that that allows me to stay floating and and for them to not have to go looking somewhere else for help. So no big deal. I love working at this shop. It's my um, absolute favorite uh, buddy of. Uh, my favorite boat shop to work in of all my buddies' shops, my my, my friends who <laughs> own boat shops. So um, I'm actually kind of really enjoying this um, this kind of cruise into easier work, but still some work that I've made these last few weeks. Um, putting the big boats behind me, but kind of you know I've had pretty steady work, but not overwhelming, and uh, I'm enjoying it. It is keeping me stuck here. Um, but that's okay. I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm very thankful. I've been recognizing this last couple of weeks. Very thankful for these opportunities I have and this ability to make a living with this wonderful schedule that fits me so well and fits my, um, you know, what I can do. I don't do very well when I stay at one place for very long. I, I start to <laughs> to not do as good. Anyways, enough about that. Um, so just a little bit of glimpse in the future as well those they're all my boat shops are all real busy for the coming months too so i may not get as much free time this fall or or winter as i was hoping to and and uh that's okay like i said i really it's important for me to partner with these guys and some of the plans i've made for this fall and winter with regards to the boats i just had a great meeting a really good meeting with uh with one of my customers this week and he's making some moves to um to grow his business and uh and i'm going to partner with him in that and and just make sure he he is able to tackle all the projects he takes on this year so we talked a lot about what's possible and um i don't think i'm getting in over my head but sounds like i'll have some good opportunities um throughout the year and some gaps i let him know i wanted to be gone and we kind of worked it out, you know, I'll just might have to come back in December or January or something when he starts getting busy. But um, but I should still have a good break here in the fall and uh, and more than anything, just have some some work to look forward to. So give me a little more freedom to to do the things I want to do right now, um, knowing that I don't need to scrimp and save so much because I'll have some work coming. So anyways, that's all boring work stuff, but it um, it was a big week for me work-wise. I, I kind of slid into a good um, situation here and and got a lot of affirmation and confirmation of what's going on in my future. So I'm kind of getting my bin sort of up in the air and I'm starting to sort of figure things out. I've, I've got another piece of the puzzle to put away. I've got to go visit my folks and figure out um, what's possible with uh, my little buddy Waylon there, see if I can let him stay with them for a little while and then I'm probably going to buy a plane ticket and and not fly anywhere right away but uh but get ready for some traveling in October and maybe September but October November um and I think I'd like to do most of that traveling to be honest in my car so I think I might just do a short trip in the plane go somewhere see how it goes trying to explore what's possible for me with this diet and then uh and then maybe um go overland somewhere maybe drive back down to California or to Mexico or something like that for a little while just to get warm and get out of the cold winter um, but also to have an overland adventure uh, in my van since I got it all set up and with my dog so I don't need to leave him so that's my tentative plan for winter um, but hey let's talk about zero carb because I had a really good week with zero carb with one exception um, and I think I'm still learning some stuff so so yeah, so from the standpoint of what I ate and how I did, so I did, I had a sick night and it was last night. So I'm a little tired this morning. I was woken up at about midnight with the burning in my stomach and I came outside and sat on the toilet for half an hour and went back inside and came back outside and did it again. And then I finally threw up 
And uh, sure enough, this morning I looked at where I'd vomited and there was all the little bits of cartilage and stuff. So yeah, last night I ate ribeye. I ate too much. Really, I was really hungry and I ate a lot. Felt great until late at night when the little cartilagey bits wouldn't digest and I was left with a stomach full of burning acid. So what's cool about it is that I've now got that so figured out. And it's interesting, it always starts, um, I'm gonna be graphic, so I apologize, but it always starts with diarrhea and it becomes more and more liquid as that burning gets stronger and more time goes on. And I'm quite sure now that that's just the bile in my bile production ramping up and making too much acid for any of my system to handle. And so my system just sending it on through with a bunch of water. And so it's real easy for me to ident real easy for me to identify because my my diarrhea becomes straight liquid and goes from dark to lighter and lighter until it's almost just yellow bile. I know that's gross. I apologize, but um, it does help me identify and really sort of um, I identify this ep these episodes because they're very very unique in that regard and that the, the, I can you know see the bile production can tell that it's upsetting my stomach through the burning and the fact that it just goes right through me. I'll, it'll go through me uh, from this end and go out, you know, diarrhea, and then eventually the burn will get so bad I vomit it up and then I feel fine. And that's what happened last night, so no big deal. I'm a little tired from it. It keeps me up for about an hour or so, but, um, but I feel fine this morning. A little burning. <laughs> um, and uh, so I did get sick. I did eat too much. And part of that is that I've been really active this week. I, like I said, I stacked wood. I've been riding my bike. I've been going hard. I've been trying to do cardio and stay busy all week. And so I found myself probably burning a lot more calories than I normally do. And so therefore eating a lot more. Um, and from a standpoint of what I ate, so I did. I ate, um, I told you last week about the brisket with the cold fat. I've been continuing to eat that. Um, seemed like there was something I did that was different that I wanted to share with you. And now I don't remember what it was. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, I know what it was. So when I went to Costco, I went last week, I got another ribeye and I got some pork belly. And so I sliced it thin and I've been cooking it like bacon, a little thicker than bacon. And it's been great, you guys. It's been making me feel really, I feel fine eating it. And it's been adding a nice, bit of, of fried fat to a lot of meals that otherwise would have been too lean. So like sometimes that brisket will have lean parts and, and uh, some of the bites of pork belly going with that leaner brisket. Really nice mix. Um, and so yeah, all this week I've been eating kind of alternating between the brisket and pork belly. Salmon, I ate some smoked salmon and pork belly. And then my ribeye. And uh, geez, I've really been feeling great all week other than last night's episode, but I've been trying to eat more meals a day. And I have been for the most part eating three meals a day. Yesterday I did not, and I think that was my issue. Um, I got busy and I rode my bike in the morning for a long time. And by the time I got back, I was off doing something else. And so I, I, I ate more than one meal a day, but it was kind of like one late afternoon meal at like three or four and then a big meal at six. So I think that's what really stacked up in my stomach. Um, but yeah, eating that pork belly has been really great. It's sort of like an uncured, unseasoned bacon. So it's a way for me to get that fat without uh, the nitrates and, and preservatives and things that are in the bacon. So I've been really enjoying that. And I think I'll continue to do that. Actually, one of the things that I was concerned about heading into the future here is that I just, as I said, slaughtered all my animals. So that means I'm gonna go back to hamburger and I'll be eating hamburger for the next, you know, nine months <laughs> or whatever. And so sometimes that can get a little lean. And so I'm, I'm excited about the option of pork belly uh, to use just as the fat component. It's fairly affordable. I think it's $2.99 at Costco there a pound. Um, and it works pretty good as just almost a pure fat addition to the meal. So it really helps me um, even that out so maybe I can you know, not overeat the amount by eating more calories with less food, by having a little more fat. So that's my current theory. But anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm doing great. I had a really good week uh, eating this way. A little bit of changes from the past and, uh, and definitely seem to be, well, verifying that um, 
that eating too much at once is a problem for me. And so this last few weeks I have been, for the most part, eating three meals a day, smaller meals. Seems like it's working well for me, so I'm going to stay that course. Um, and that's it from a zero carb perspective. Otherwise, I feel great, you guys. I've got no complaints. My energy's been awesome. Um, I'm not feeling any weird. <laughs> Nothing to complain about. No niggles or twinges or anything. And uh, yeah, pretty neat here. Two and a half years, no supplements to just keep verifying that sure enough, this this way of eating really is, as far as I know, as far as I can tell, the best for me um, with regards to how I feel. So... So that's enough for today, you guys. I'm gonna get on with my day and I'm going to absolutely make a point of resting today. So today I'm just going to, I'm gonna try really hard not to let myself pick up any firewood or do any chores. And I'm gonna try and get caught up on some relaxing. And then I got a bunch of work to do this week and really hoping to jump in my van and, and do some traveling. Um, so maybe I'll get some of this stuff off my plate and be able to share some of that with you guys next week or so. We'll see. I know I can't go far because I got to come back for a boat the week after that, but even if I can just do a little week long trip or something. Well, we'll see. But, anyways, I hope you guys are doing great. I really hope you guys are making some progress and staying the course, learning a lot about yourselves and, and getting better every day. Um, I can't thank you guys enough. I just cannot say it often enough. Thank you guys so much for all your support, for listening and watching, for all your kind comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you really make a difference in my life. This journal has been wonderful for me. So I'll keep doing it. Um, and I hope you guys stay the course, make some progress. And I'll see you next week. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for listening and watching. See you soon. Thank you.